Hey guys, welcome to today's 20 minute full body strength workout with dumbbells. I'm using a set of 10. You can use anything light to heavy. We're gonna get started with a warm up. So come onto your mat for me. We're gonna crawl forward into a plank. Hit that plank core brace, crawl right back. Heels come down, lift all the way up. So we're getting those hips nice and warm, shoulders nice and warm, the core. We wanna get really nice and warmed up before this workout because we are gonna be using weights. And we'll start with the lower body. So if you wanna go heavier on the first set and then on the second set when we do upper body, you can go lighter if you'd like. We're gonna come down to that plank and hold. You're gonna bring your right foot to your right hand. Lift that right arm, rotate through the chest. So we're warming that thoracic spine. Hand down, we're gonna warm up, go to the back. Now bring that right foot back, left foot up, rotate that chest to the left. You can feel that chest, the shoulders getting nice and warm here. Foot goes back, switch again. We're gonna keep going like this. Every time we do this, we're trying to get a little bit more rotation to get a little bit deeper into that stretch. Feels really good, right? Last one each side. And we're gonna walk it back up, to come to our feet. We're gonna come to a lateral lunge with a rotation. So lunging to the right, reaching for that right foot. Step in to the left. Reach for that left foot, step in. So getting a nice big stretch through that inner thigh. We're gonna finish up this one pretty quickly and move to our first exercise, which is a front squat. We're working for 50 seconds and we're resting for 10. So we've got long intervals to really fatigue the muscle, get that heart rate up. Grab your weights. Feet just outside hips, toes out five degrees. Weights on those shoulders, let's go. Hips go back and down, about knee level. Weight back in your heels. And you want your knees pushing straight forward in line with the second and third toes. Chest is lifted, belly's drawn in and braced. And then when you stand up, you're squeezing your butt and your hips. Finish right under those shoulders. So you can see from this side, I'm sitting back. My knees are pushing forward, but they're staying behind the line of my big toes. Aiming for 90 degree hip to ankle here. Chest is lifted. Got really good posture throughout the movement. You can always do it without weights if you need to. Let's rest. We're gonna move on to our sumo squat. Taking the feet wider, turning the toes out a little bit more. We're gonna let those dumbbells hang, reach for the floor. Here we go, push the knees out and lift. So now we're reaching for the floor. You don't have to touch the floor, but you're aiming for that. Knees driving out over the middle of your feet. And when you stand up, I want you to push through those outer heels, squeeze your butt, feel that, wrap around the side of your butt, those side glutes, we're getting deeper into the hamstrings and the lower back here. We wanna keep that posture really lifted. If at any point you feel like you're dropping your chest or rounding your back, go without the weight. And you can see we're moving nice and controlled here. Not too fast. We wanna really get deep into those repetitions to work those big muscles in the legs. Moving on to a split squat. Feet start under the hips. We're gonna step that right leg back. Left leg forward, put weight in the left heel, drop that back knee toward the floor and come up. So a split squat is basically a lunge, but you're stationary. You're staying in that split leg position. Knees to 90 degrees. Back knee goes straight down and the front knee right over the ankle. Now, like I said before, weight in the front heel, why? That's gonna put that work into your glute and then by keeping it there, 
you're keeping it out of the toes so it's not going into your knee. You wanna aim for front thigh, parallel to the floor. And again, good posture here. Chest is lifted, abs are braced nice and tight. Moving nice and controlled here. Again, it's not about how many reps you get, it's about the quality. So always feel free to slow it down if you need to. Rest, shake out those legs. We're gonna do it all on the other side. So feet under hips first, take a big step back with that opposite leg. We drop and lift. Now you don't have to touch the back knee. You can if you want to, but you're aiming to get that back knee close to the floor. Again, pushing through that front heel, squeeze that booty to the top. Getting that front thigh parallel to the floor. Keeping that front knee a little bit soft at the top so we don't want to fully extend that leg and that keeps that burn in the quad and that front leg. Rest, moving on. We're going to our lateral lunge, this time with weights. We're gonna start with that right leg stepping out reaching toward the floor with those weights. So big step to the right, reach to the floor, step back in, same leg, let's go again. So big step out, toes straight ahead, butt pushes back, and then you're gonna tip forward from the hips, but I don't want you to round your spine. Keep that chest proud, core braced, so we've got really good posture. And again, we're getting that work into the hips, not the back. So we're not gonna strain that lower upper back by reaching down with those weights. If you feel it there, go without the weights. That's always your first way to modify is drop the weight. When you stand up, really push through that opposite leg. Right here, squeeze that butt, yeah. And we're gonna rest for 10. Ooh, starting to feel that burn in those legs, you feel it? We're going to the other side. So this time, stepping big, left leg. Here we go. And that stepping leg, when you put it down, when you put the foot down, put that weight into your heel. Push your butt back and feel how that gets deeper into the glutes. Again, same thing applies here. Good posture. Toes straight ahead. Hips back, abs tight. And again, that stationary leg, push through that foot, squeeze that booty to stand up. Now I want this leg straight, but not locked out. So you're not bending it to come up, but you're also not squeezing that kneecap so you keep it soft. We are almost there. Rest, moving on to a Romanian deadlift. RDL means we start in standing. So feet under hips, I'll show you from the side profile. Chest up, abs tight, weights close to legs. Let's hinge from the hips. Take those weights down, so you got a nice flat back, drive it up. So pushing that booty back, sliding those weights down and up the legs. So if you're doing this right, you should feel it all the way down the back of your body. You got a little squeeze between your shoulder blades, abs tight. You're really sticking that booty out, letting those weights go about mid shin or as far down as you can while still maintaining good posture. Weight in your heels. It should feel really good through the backs of those legs too. Keeping that chin tuck, neck neutral the whole time. So when you come down, your eyes are about six feet in front. Good work, guys. We're moving on to a single leg deadlift. So we're gonna lift the right leg, send it straight back this time for a balanced challenge. You ready? Let's try it. So hinging from the hip, reaching to the floor, tap that right foot. So when the leg goes back, I want you to try to keep the hip square to the floor. So that means the toe points to the ground, the hip faces the ground. So you're not opening the hip or twisting. So we're keeping that work in the glute and the hamstring of that stationary leg. 
Again here, chest is lifted, abs tight. You might need to move a little bit slower here. That's totally fine. Again, quality over quantity. And again, you're going about mid chin with those weights as low as you can. Again, while maintaining good posture. Don't worry too much about how high you can get that back leg. It's not really even about that. It's about that hip hinge. And when we lift the opposite leg, we send that work into that single leg. All right, we're switching. Left leg goes back this time. So we're working each side individually, unilateral training. And what's so great about this is we get to strengthen each side individually because we all got a stronger and a weaker side, right? So we even everything out by doing this type of training. You might find you shake a little bit more on one side. <laughs> yeah, if you can tell, I'm doing that on this side. A little bit shakier, that's okay. Especially on this one, it's more of a challenge on that single leg, but just do the best you can. Again, trying to keep those hips square, abs tight, moving with control. and rest. All right, we're moving on to the upper body. Quickly grab lighter weights if you need or stay heavier. Upright rows are next. We're gonna bring those elbows up, weights come to the lower chest, up and down. As you're lifting, I want you to squeeze your shoulder blades together, knees soft, abs tight. And so you can see my hips are under my shoulders, right? So I don't want any arch in your lower back. Pulling those elbows up nice and high. It's getting into those rear delts, the back of the shoulders, and those postural muscles of the back. It's a great one to do if you're like hunched over at a desk all day or just on your phone or reading a lot. Time. We're gonna to move to a push press. This one's a full body, upper body exercise, if that makes any sense. Weights on your shoulders. We're gonna sit back and do a half squat, then drive those weights up right over those shoulders. This one, you're using momentum from that lower body. So your half squat gives you that hip drive, and the weights are coming up straight over those shoulders. Speed will help you here. Unlike the others, this one you can go fast. I want you to focus on that core brace at the top. Exhale. Like you're trying to punch those weights through the ceiling. For everybody who hates cardio, this is how I trick you into doing it. Putting it in our weight set. So we still get that heart rate up, get that metabolic boost. Almost there. Nice work. Moving to the floor. Plank rows next. So both arms are on the dumbbells. You got one in each hand. Feet wide or knees wide. Pulling elbow to rib cage. Dumbbell to rib cage. Trying to fight to keep your hips square to the floor. Shoulders over your wrists. And that's important because that keeps the load in the core and in the shoulders. So if we're lifting the butt too much, we take that load out of the core. If we push back too much, where our shoulders are over the wrists, again, we take that load out of the shoulders and we really make it harder. It's gonna be hard anyway. Might as well be hard and you're doing it right. Option here, drop those knees. You can always come here. Time. Moving on, we're gonna come to our feet, feet under hips. We've got a bicep curl to an overhead press. We're gonna curl those weights up, rotate, knuckles to the back, press it up, curl, reset. Let's do that again. So right in front of shoulders, knuckles to the back overhead. I'll show you from this side. So you can see that rotation, it's natural, right? It would feel really awkward if you didn't do it. 
And that also is gonna get back into the backs of those shoulders. Brace that core right here. Helps if you exhale at the top during that hard part of the move. So we can engage that core, use our breath to assist us with that heavy lifting. Now I'm still using my heavy dumbbells. If you wanna go lighter, you're absolutely welcome to. But I like a challenge, so here's where I am. Out of breath, right there with you. All right, rest, moving on to a triceps kickback. We're gonna do this one from standing with a hip hinge. Both arms at the same time, you ready? Pull, weights to knees, pull to your hips, kick back, bend those elbows. So your chin is tucked here, eyes out about six feet in front, back flat, belly button pulled in toward your spine. So we're taking those weights straight back, squeezing those triceps, the back of the arms, keeping those elbows in. This one is killer with the heavy weights. Kind of regretting it, honestly, but. If you know me, I know, you know I teach Les Mills Body Pump. Did it yesterday. It's really not good to do strength training two days in a row. So I'm struggling today. But we gotta get it done. All right, rest. We're moving on to a dumbbell push-up. So on, your knees are on your toes. Hands just outside shoulder width apart. Feet wide for balance if you need it. Drop that chest to elbow height here. So those elbows should graze past those ribs. And this little elevation with the dumbbell can allow you to work deeper into that range if you want to. Brace that core. So your goal here is to move your body as a unit. Hips, chest, your belly, all drop and lift at the same time. So we're using that control, keeping the hips and shoulders facing the floor, and if you need to, on those knees. And again, make sure, just like we did in that plank, make sure your shoulders are over your wrist here and you're staying really strong. Almost there. Rest, all right, we're moving on. Front raise to lateral raise. Bring those feet under your hips. Shoulders back and down. Lift those weights straight up front, straight out to the side. So right out front, arms straight, and about shoulder height for both of those moves. Especially in that front raise, you wanna make sure you're keeping the weight below the shoulders, and that allows that tension to stay where you want it, so you're not hyperextending, you're not thrusting the hips, you're not using your back. You're moving really controlled. This one really gets the front, the side delts. Nice job. All right, we're moving on to a single arm thruster. So we're gonna take that weight to the right hand on the shoulder, feet outside hips, left arm out for balance. We're gonna drop the butt halfway down, punch that weight up. So just like that push press, we're doing it with one arm now. Driving through those hips. You don't have to squat all the way down. I want you to use your hips to get momentum. And then punch that weight straight up, bicep, close to your ear right here, so you stay in control. Bracing your abs, keeping everything really tight. More unilateral training here, evening out that stronger and that weaker side. This is my weaker side, I think. Time. Whew, we got one more exercise. Same thing, other side. This time, dumb on the left hand, on the shoulder, right arm out, squat and drive, let's go. Like that push press, the speed will help you here. Just make sure, again, that bicep, close to your ear, you can still see it out of the corner of your eye, right? 
That means you're keeping that weight in a good range. Abs tight, exhale at the top. Palm stretch. And we're done. Nice job, guys. 20 minutes, full body. We knocked it out. If you need a cool down, check out some of my other videos or my cool down stretch videos to help release some of those tight muscles we just worked. And be sure to check out my other full body strength videos, hit videos, and give me a thumbs up, comment, let me know what you think.